Do you have any secret tips on how to learn English? Probably something I, I tell the students a lot is when it comes to words, right? Um, to learn, to, well firstly to notice how words are used with other words. Because what we often tend to do is we look at, we learn a new word, we write it. We, t we usually write it as a single word. But I, I, I encourage the students firstly to, s to think about, okay, this word, when we use it in a sentence, what other words go with it? If I'm a beginner student, my, my teacher teaches me coffee. Now I write coffee. Yeah. Maybe I should say to my teacher, okay, how am I going to use this word? Well, can I have a coffee? Can I get a coffee? Can I drink coffee? So, you know, learning words in pairs, that would be one thing, because that's going to help me to speak better. Yeah. And also when I read, to notice the word more easily and to understand it when I hear it. Firstly, it depends on the level that you are. Okay, some levels like basic can't handle certain things, but I have this particular tip, I would say, um, if you're below intermediate level, then um, it's okay to use subtitles. If you're intermediate and above, you need to be careful about subtitles in videos. People think it helps them, but it makes you lazy because it doesn't help you to train your ear. You're just reading whatever's on the screen. And so I always tell my students, try and switch off the subtitles. If you wanna be a good advanced speaker, because when you speak to people in real life, there's no subtitles here. And so you're so used to, and then you say, I don't understand the person because you've trained yourself to watch movies and videos. And I would say, well, tip number one, switch off the subtitles. Force your ear to listen and help you to understand. Okay. And then also learning phrases. Because a lot of grammar is in the phrase, you see. So instead of thinking about how do I construct this sentence, what is the grammar, just learn the phrase with the grammar embedded in it. Like, have you ever... Or have you been to, you know? And then you can ask a lot of questions using that phrase or that chunk. That would probably be another thing.